Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho case. Is Dylan Mortensen a nothing burger? I asked that while eating this wonderful smash, delicious smash burger. A nothing burger. And I say that because A lot of people out there think it's nothing that Dylan Mortensen, it's nothing to go on that Dylan Mortensen waited hours later to call or be with the group of people who called authorities and it's nothing that she froze when she saw Brian Kohlberger according to the affidavit of probable cause. They're saying it's a nothing burger. I'm not so sure. I think it might be a something burger. And I say something burger because I'm very suspect on Dylan Mortensen. And I want to know some things about Dylan Mortensen. I want to know when she spoke to police or authorities, who, did, who gave the interview to her? Did she actually, did the authorities call her into the Moscow PD or the Idaho State Troopers office or FBI office and interrogate her there? Or did she just give a statement about what happened at the Moscow home. We saw the affidavit of probable cause. She spoke to Officer Brett Payne, Corporal Brett Payne, who is seems like he is the lead investigator in this case. But when she spoke to authorities, did authorities at the time feel she's involved or treated her as a witness? Because we don't know. I wonder if there's surveillance out there or the usually when you have these type of cases, all the people that are getting interviewed, suspects and witnesses or, witnesses or whatnot, are videotaped. Do you think Dylan's interview with police sharing what happened that early morning hours on November 13th was videotaped? Or is this all a nothing burger? I'm reminded of that while I'm eating this burger. This is a smash burger, by the way, and it's very good. I still think it's a something burger. I think there's something more to this case. Dylan Mortensen, you know, saw Brian Kohlberger, froze, went back into her room. I don't know, man. And then didn't call police. I don't know. What do you think? I really would like to know your guys' opinions out there. Covering this Moscow tragedy. I think about this almost every day. Like, why didn't she call police? Because it's out there that it's possible instead of calling police, she called the people inside the home. And I've talked about this on other videos. She called the roommates, you know, before authorities were eventually called. She didn't. She wasn't even the one that called the authorities. Was she trying to hide something? Was there drugs involved? Was it drugs or alcohol or uh, a, a legal activity that maybe Dylan was involved with where she didn't want to call authorities right away because she was worried about authorities catching her doing something. And now I'm sure if she would have called authorities right away and she did have illegal drugs or something on her that she shouldn't have had, I think the authorities wouldn't even pay that no mind, right? They're focusing on four college students that were brutally stabbed. So why would she not call the police. I mean, the theory that she kind of froze or went into some sort of comatose, psychotic state and she had a, took out her hours to snap out of it, I just don't buy it. I just don't buy it. And I wish maybe some uh, psychologist or something can explain how somebody can do that because I feel it's not a nothing burger. Right? I feel it's not a nothing burger. So subscribe to my channel, like, hit, hit the notification button. Still covering this case. Still wondering about Dylan Mortensen. Dylan is the key star witness of this case for sure. Whether the prosecution brings her in as, as to testify against Kohlberger or not, I'm sure the defense is going to you know, challenge her and challenge her, maybe even try to pin it on her to try to take it away from Brian Kohlberger. That's definitely a possibility too. Anything's possible with this case. We'll talk soon. I'm gonna enjoy this 
wonderful burger, but is Dylan Mortensen a nothing burger or is it a something burger? We'll talk soon. Everyone be safe. God bless. Justice for the victims and their families.